Convenient, or are they? QR codes are everywhere, remember the before times? Struggling to connect to slow airport Wi-Fi, trying to read a tiny URL on a billboard? QR codes seemed like a gift from the future. Tap, scan, boom, information right at your fingertips. Contactless payments, restaurant menus, even boarding passes went digital. So convenient, so easy. But as with all things shiny and new, a dark side lurks. Cyber criminals, never ones to miss a trick, have weaponized QR codes. Their new weapon? QR code phishing? It's like regular phishing, but sneakier, faster, and potentially more devastating. Remember, convenience often comes at a price. This isn't some distant tech thriller threat. This is happening right now in your city, maybe even on your block. We're talking about malicious QR codes designed to steal your data, drain your bank accounts, and leave you digitally exposed. Think of it like this. You wouldn't eat a cookie left on the subway. Why trust a random QR code? So, how does this digital bait and switch work? Imagine this. You're walking down the street and see a poster for free concert tickets. Scan this QR code, it says. You, being a fan of free stuff and loathing long lines, whip out your phone. You scan the code, eager to snag those sweet, sweet tunes. But here's the catch. That QR code doesn't lead to a ticket giveaway. Instead, it takes you to a fake website designed to look identical to the real deal. You enter your login credentials, thinking you're securing your spot at the concert. But in reality, you've just handed your username and password to a cyber criminal. And it's not just concert tickets. These malicious QR codes can be anywhere. Think parking garages, coffee shops, public Wi-Fi spots, even those little donation boxes at your local bakery. They prey on our desire for convenience and our trust in familiar logos and brands. But that trust, my friends, is exactly what they're banking on. Let's talk real-world scenarios. Picture this. You're running late for a meeting, desperately searching for parking. You spot a sign. Scan for easy parking payment. Relief washes over you. No more fumbling for coins or dealing with malfunctioning machines. You scan the code, input your credit card info, and breathe a sigh of relief. Fast forward a week, and you're staring at your credit card statement in horror. Unauthorized charges for online gaming, weird subscriptions, maybe even a camel, it happened to a friend. That convenient parking payment? It led you straight into a hacker's trap. Or how about this? You're at your favorite coffee shop craving that caffeine fix. You see a sign for a free pastry with any purchase made through their app. Scan the QR code, they say. Free pastry? Sign me up! But that QR code, it doesn't lead to the coffee shop's app. It downloads malware onto your phone, giving hackers access to your personal data, online banking, even your social media accounts. Section 4. The High Cost of Scanning, What Happens When You Fall Victim The consequences of falling for these QR code scams can be devastating. We're not talking about a minor inconvenience here. This is identity theft, financial ruin, and a whole lot of digital headaches. Imagine having to cancel all your credit cards, freeze your bank accounts, and spend countless hours trying to undo the damage. And it's not just individuals at risk. Businesses, too, are prime targets for these sophisticated attacks. Imagine a malicious QR code making its way into a company's internal network. Suddenly, hackers have access to sensitive customer data, financial records, trade secrets, the digital keys to the kingdom. This isn't a joke, folks. This is the new frontier of cybercrime, and the stakes are higher than ever. We're talking about your privacy, your security, your hard-earned money. It's time to wise up and learn how to protect ourselves. Section 5 Expert Insight A Cybersecurity Pro Sounds the Alarm we spoke to Eva Galperin, Director of Cybersecurity at the Electronic Frontier Foundation, and she didn't mince words. QR code phishing is a serious threat, she warns. It's easy to execute, difficult to detect, and can have devastating consequences for individuals and businesses alike. Galperin emphasizes that the rise in contactless interactions during the pandemic created a perfect storm for this type of attack. People got used to scanning QR codes for everything, she explains. And cybercriminals saw an opportunity to exploit that trust. 
But it's not all doom and gloom. Galperin stresses that awareness and education are key to staying safe. We need to be more cautious about the QR codes we scan, she advises. Just because it's convenient doesn't mean it's safe. Section 6. Don't get hooked. Practical tips to avoid QR code scams. Okay, so we've scared you silly, it was necessary. But fear not, dear viewers, because knowledge is power. Here are some practical tips to avoid getting hooked by QR code scams. 1. Think before you scan. Does that flyer for discount catnip really need a QR code? Is that free public Wi-Fi sticker in the alley really a good idea? Question everything. 2. Inspect the code. Look for any signs of tampering, like stickers placed over the original code. If it looks off, it probably is. 3. Use a QR code scanner app. Many security apps offer built-in QR code scanners that can warn you of potentially malicious links. 4. Check the URL. Before entering any personal information, double-check the web address. Does it match the legitimate website? Look for misspellings or suspicious characters. 5. Be wary of unsolicited codes. If you receive a QR code out of the blue, via email or text, treat it with extreme caution. Don't scan it unless you're 100% sure of its source. Remember, convenience shouldn't come at the cost of your security. By staying informed and adopting these simple practices, you can navigate the digital world with confidence. Section 7. Stay vigilant, stay safe. Navigating the digital world with caution. The digital world is a double-edged sword. It offers incredible convenience and connectivity, but it also harbors hidden dangers. QR code phishing is just one example of the evolving threats we face online. The key to staying safe is simple vigilance. Don't let your guard down, question everything, and always remember, if it seems too good to be true, it probably is. So go forth, dear viewers, and scan responsibly. Because in the digital age, a little caution can go a long way. And always remember, we're here to help you navigate the treacherous waters of the internet, one scam-filled news segment at a time.